The next theologian I'd like to explore is, is Tertullian. The key insight of Tertullian is that the Father, the Son and the Spirit are one substance, but they are related in the way that a root is related to a shoot or a stream is related to a spring. Tertullian is an interesting character. He was born in Carthage around about 160 AD, uh, but he made his career in Rome as, as a lawyer. He converted to Christianity around about 197, but eventually became a schismatic, part of a movement called Montanists. But he was one of the first Christian authors to try a positive expression of the mystery of the relationship of the Father, the Son and the Spirit. And one of the positive things he did was rather than trying to adjust his beliefs to fit his um, philosophical constructs, he sought concepts that would help explain his beliefs. And they were summarized in this proposition. The Father is one person, the Son is another person, and both are the same God. In contrast to the Sabellians, Tertullian argued that the Father and Son are distinct, and the reason they're distinct is because the Son is emitted or extruded from the Father. The way he explained this was a good attempt, but ultimately his weakness. He emphasized that yes, God is spirit, but that in itself, a spirit is a body with substance. So the Son was effectively emitted from the body of the Father. And that explained why the Son could be of the same substance as the Father, because the Son's body as such was emitted from the body of the Father. That's all a philosophical mouthful. It's, it's, it's really hard to get our minds around. So Tertullian was merciful on us. He used images to explain what he meant. If we look at plants, there's the root that brings forth a shoot. If we look at water, there is a spring that brings forth the stream. Now looking at the plant, we know that the shoot is of the same substance as the root. Looking at water, the stream is of the same substance as the spring. The spring is water. The stream is water, but they are distinct. In this way, Tertullian says, the Son is brought forth or emitted from the Father. He is distinct, but he is of the same substance as the Father. And Tertullian went on to extend that imagery to the Holy Spirit. As an effort, as a first draft, if I could put it this way, it was a good effort. And the positive part of Tertullian's theology addresses some key questions about how three distinct individuals could be of the one substance. The problem with Tertullian, though, was that he was too tied, too restricted to the material imagination. And he was tied to the idea that God was some sort of a body. And so he could only think of God in, in material terms, in terms of organic or material images. The problem is that if we think of the Father, Son and Spirit as being God, then they have to be co-eternally God. They have to be God from all eternity. One or the other can't have a beginning, or for that matter, an end. If we look to the images of Tertullian, the shoot has a time when it doesn't exist, but the root does. So the root exists and then brings forth the shoot into existence in time. There is a time when there is the spring, but not the stream. And the root or the shoot can be cut off from their sources and no longer be one with them. And so Tertullian's imagery was severely limited because it used a material image and the problem there was using a material image with which to conceive of a God who is immaterial.